फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज यू आर वेल अवेयर हैज फॉर लॉन्ग पॉस्टुलेटेड दैट एनी इफेक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ पेस्ट कंट्रोल मस्ट नेसेसरली बी एन इंटीग्रेटेड सिस्टम विच टेक्स इन टू अकाउंट ऑल दीज आस्पेक्ट्स एंड मस्ट बी कैरीड टू द फील्ड थ्रू एन एफिशियंट एंड फोर्सफुल एक्सटेंशन एजेंसी दिस सिमिलर इज देयर फॉर पर्टिकुलरली टाइमली एंड वेलकम सिंस इट कंसर्न्स इट सेल्फ विथ टू ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप्स सॉन इन आवर कंट्री राइज एंड जोअर आई होप इट विल बी फॉलोड बाय सेवरल अदर सच सेमिनार्स एंड वर्कशॉप्स इन विच साइंटिस्ट मैन्युफैक्चरर्स इकोलॉजिस्ट एंड द ग्रोवर्स वुड पार्टिसिपेट विथ द इंटेंशन ऑफ इवॉल्विंग ए मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ आवर मेजर क्रॉप्स आवर राइज एंड जोअर क्रॉप्स डिड एक्सटिंगली वेल लास्ट ईयर एंड इट इज आवर एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट द हार्वेस्ट दिस ईयर वुड बी नो लेस बाउंटीफुल मर्सीफुल्ली ड्यूरिंग दीज टू ईयर्स देअर हैज बीन नो सीरियस एपिडेमिक एफ्लिकेटिंग आइदर ऑफ दीज क्रॉप्स एंड वॉट एवर लिटिल आउट ब्रेक्स ऑफ पेस्ट और डिजीज टूक प्लेस दे वर इफेक्टिवली कंट्रोल्ड बाय द स्टेट्स even though our losses due to pests and diseases of rice and jowar during these cropping seasons have been insignificant it is essential for us to give some serious thought to pest control measures i understand that in the case of rice alone there are no less than 70 different species of insects which can cause damage and the problem has become all the more acute with the rapid spread of high yielding varieties by and large it can be said that preventive measures are far more lasting and economical than control measures or in other words possible is of utmost importance for this a very sound system of surveillance is necessary at the field level the state governments and the center do have specific agencies for this purpose which are being strengthened however as in the case of all extension activity the government alone cannot be expected to pay a single handed role it would give me great satisfaction to see the pesticides association of india also coming forward in a big way to strengthen the surveillance system prevailing in the country this might of course if i may be frank run contrary to certain commercial interests but in the ultimate analysis the task of a manufacturer is not to sell a product simply because of manufacturers it but because it is genuinely needed if he does not 
accept this basic premise commercial considerations alone leave alone social or national considerations will drive him out of the market assam is primarily an agricultural state agriculture sustains about 72% of its population but only one third of its area is cropped the plains here are covered by most fertile alluvial soils which are suitable for growing rice wheat sugarcane cotton banana tobacco etc on the hills apart from a great potential of growing varieties of fruits we have colorful orchards and among the commercial crops tea jute sugarcane cotton and potato and ginger are important with these favorable features and its new structure the university is well set to bring science to the service of the rural areas of the state the primary function of any university is to seek knowledge to create knowledge and to disseminate and apply it for the welfare of mankind while the agricultural university shares this broad based function of a university it has to fulfill its role by becoming an instrument in agricultural and rural development and through it in the growth and prosperity of the state it serves education in such a university has to be concerned with the training of the youth who will occupy important positions in shaping agricultural policy in agricultural research in administration and in a wide range of agricultural services there is no denying the fact that in a country like india which is predominantly agricultural agricultural development is the bedrock on which the nation's progress and prosperity stand therefore the content and quality of education imparted in agricultural universities will exercise a profound influence on all aspects of our development agricultural universities should show a marked willingness to change as the country's needs change agricultural situation in the country will face challenges of an unprecedented nature needing appropriate adjustments in strategy deployment of resources kinds of products to be produced and processed and services to be rendered to the farming community the programs of the universities will have to keep on adjusting to meet such changing needs if agricultural scientists can respond to the challenges which tend to affect or make uncertain the crop yields a basic prerequisite of steady programs would be made